What's going on wholesalers? Check this out. In this video, I'm bringing you some bombshell news about an entire investigation that was going on in Atlanta about wholesalers who got this elderly lady to sell her house uh, for $95,000 and then they resold it for $130,000 the same day. Well, the Channel 2 News out in Atlanta did a whole investigation, like undercover sting type operation to try to expose these wholesalers. So I wanted to bring this video to the channel because I think that it's so important to our industry and y'all know, look, I'm the wholesale coach, so I gotta be out here giving you all the most recent updates and what's going on in the industry. So this is a video very important one. Make sure that you watch until the end, guys. And let's go ahead, let's get into this video. I want it all. Expensive trip, excited calls when I took that loss. All right, peeps. <clears throat> I'm here at the computer now. Let's go ahead, let's get into this video. So we have a booming real estate market here. We know this, but there are some people suffering. Some elderly homeowners have become targets. People are selling their houses for hundreds of thousands of dollars less than they're worth. Channel 2's investigative reporter Justin Gray dug into this after one woman reached out to us for help. You see how the video starts off saying like these people have become targets and they're, you know, talking about the fact of how they're selling them for, for way cheaper than what they're worth or things of that nature. I highly doubt that you're going to hear anybody talk about like the type of value that these, you know, that us as wholesalers provide. But I digress. Let's just go ahead. Let's keep going. Driving. And we are here driving for dollars. Driving for dollars on Instagram. It's like a boiler room atmosphere. Everybody's in here in one room making a phone call. Dialing for dollars in this undercover video, our Channel 2 Action News producer recorded at a wholesale live training in Southwest Atlanta. Doing this all these years and they done this locked up. Okay. We good. They're shopping for houses that aren't for sale. As you can see, like they literally set up like an entire sting operation. Like they went to these people event, paid money to show up at the event to try to expose them as wholesalers taking advantage of the elderly. Now, I don't know these people. I think her name was like Mo Hustle. I don't know her personally or whatever. Mo, if you checking out this, uh, this video, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to have you on my podcast. Um, and we could chat about it, you know, so you can get your voice out to the community. I would love to have you on. The wholesaler would come to her house every single day and beg her to sell. Robin Andrade is an Atlanta real estate broker who got a call about an elderly woman who needed help finding a condo. She didn't have enough money for a condo and she was almost 80 years old. We aren't showing her face, but the wholesale live crew featured her on Instagram the day she sold her home. She's been living in her home for 46 years. She's ready to move on and experience new things. They bought her Wait, before we get to the numbers, I just noticed that uh, the, the, the guy in the video is the real grind guy on Instagram. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm his friend on Instagram, so I'm definitely going to be reaching out to these guys after I get done recording this video so we can try to get their opinion and perspective on it as well and just try to see what's going on because to me like this is major news in the wholesaler industry right now us as wholesalers we got to be on our p's and q's make sure we dot our i's crossing our t's working with attorneys and trying to do everything absolutely the right way disclosure is key now let's get into these numbers house for ninety five thousand dollars i turned around and sold it the same day for 130,000. Zillow estimates it's worth more than 250,000 as is. It's in the West End by the Beltline. It's the hottest, juiciest neighborhood right now in Atlanta. Sarah Stein from Atlanta Legal Aid tells me they are seeing more and more seniors targeted the same way. They're doing literally nothing to the property. And selling it that same day. And selling it the same day to somebody else for significantly more. Our undercover camera caught the strategy. Don't take no for an answer. <laughs> You can't come out here, we'll come to you when we show up with the contract. Are you taking advantage of them? No, sir. Can I show you this paperwork? I went back to the same weekly wholesaler live training our undercover undercover producer attendant. So now y'all see, they literally walked up on Mo Hustle like they was gangster or something. Got the cameras all in the face and the, the microphones and stuff like like this cheaters exposing her or something. Like this is this is nuts, guys. So 
Man, like I said in my, my first video when I was making that update about the new Illinois law, you know, I had to go out and get a license in Illinois. They made it to where it was a law that we couldn't do this legally here. Well, in Atlanta, guys, y'all better expect that something is coming sooner than later. If things like this is getting exposed on TV and it's all of this controversy, trust and believe is not just going to be a little small, simple thing that's just going to blow over in the wind. If the Channel 2 News is doing it entire investigations, deep dive investigations on these people. This is crazy. <laughs> for producer attendant. Yeah, we bought this home for 99000 sold it for 130 the same day. The same day. Would you advise your grandmother and your mother to make that sale? David Blake trains police across the state to prosecute elder abuse cases. It's almost like what we would consider financial violence. We asked Blake when this becomes a crime. You're, you're hiding the facts. You're misstating the facts to, to make that sale, to make that transaction. And that's against the law? Yes. That would be considered financial exploitation. My <sighs> Man, so as you see that, they said that that's against the law. That would be considered financial exploitation. That's major. This is not just like some regular crime, like wholesaling without a license. They're talking about financial exploitation and taking advantage of people. That's why it's so important for us as wholesalers to make sure that our contracts are crispy clean. Make sure that you're working with attorneys. Make sure that it's very, very, uh, it's a lot of disclosure going on. Just imagine yourself as a realtor has to put themselves in a situation of having much more accountability make yourself accountable you gotta like disclose everything tell miss johnson or whoever she may be like little miss johnson i may be making some money off this property so on and so forth but like like you gotta disclose because if you don't you can end up in a situation like this and you see like the guy like they looking all angry like this is serious man and Y'all know if y'all check out my channel, I talk about this all the time, like you got to be doing it the right way. There are genuinely a lot of people out here that do try to take advantage of elderly. Now, like I said, I don't know the real grind guy. I don't know Mo Hustle. Don't get me wrong. I would love to speak with these people and be able to really get their perspective and see what's really going on. Right. Um, but. I'm not gonna lie, like I can understand it on both sides of the opinion or the perspective or whatever about it. What I want is for you guys to drop a comment down below, like while you watching this, what do you think about this? Like, how does this make you feel and what are you gonna do about these new wholesaling laws and investigations and things of that nature and your community? Let's go ahead, let's finish off this video. My name is Monique Williams. Is not on the documents. She's right. You won't see the name Monique Williams on any other paperwork. The Cascade House was bought by an LLC, Green Sky Properties. Then Green Sky sold it to this woman. You will see Monique Mo Hustle documented all on Instagram. There at closing, there when they tear down the walls, and even there when they throw away the elderly woman's things. At closing, that elderly woman did thank the buyers. They haven't been this real neat and clean. But now after real But you see that though, right? Like the the homeowner was actually happy. Like she was, you know, they handled it nice and neat and clean. They made her happy. They got her out of the property. Now we don't know all of the details, so I don't want to just judge, you know, place judgment on these people and say that they taken advantage of her. It seems like she was happy to me, but we never know, right? how much more her home was really worth, she's hired an attorney. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that they took advantage of her. No doubt in my mind. We don't know if the wholesalers have committed a crime here, but an Atlanta police fraud investigator reached out to us about this, and we've now put them in touch with the elderly woman's attorney. Attorney. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, guys, as you see right there, that's pretty much the end of the video, but it's crazy out here, guys. So make sure that you protect yourself. Make sure that you're doing the right things if you're going to be out here wholesaling. Make sure you don't put yourself in a situation where you could be potentially getting investigated for fraud or, or you know, potentially going to jail, getting litigation against you. This is not anything... That, that we should take lightly like this is a very serious issue i really hope that this video helps though if it did definitely uh you know drop a comment down below hit that subscribe button if you like videos like this if you want to learn more about what's actually going on in the real estate industry plus tips tools and strategies to get out here and do it 
the right way. Not saying that these people weren't, but you know, if you want to learn how to do it the right way, then definitely, you know, hit the subscribe button, guys. Become a part of this journey. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. But like I said, stay safe out there. Do it the right way, guys. Let's we can't be out here trying to take advantage of people, but regardless of what we're doing it's like there's a certain stigma on wholesalers now and it's, it's starting to spread like wildfire all across the nation so make sure that you protect yourself make sure that you working with attorneys make sure that everything is documented and you're disclosing everything to buyers sellers realtors attorneys title companies everybody should be on the same page Anyway, though, guys, I hope that you all like this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to join my wholesaler mastermind, there's going to be a link down below where you can work with me personally to learn how to put these deals together. Anyway, though, guys, until next time, I am out.